Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa bid farewell to His Holiness Pope Francis and the accompanying delegation upon his departure from Bahrain, concluding a historic four-day official visit to the kingdom at the invitation of His Majesty the King. The Pope participated in the Bahrain Dialogue Forum East and West for Human Coexistence in its first session held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. His Majesty the King also bid farewell to His Eminence Grand Imam of Al-Azhar and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, Dr. Ahmed al tayyib upon his departure, concluding a visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain at the invitation of His Majesty the King, in which he participated in the Bahrain Dialogue Forum.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has received an audio message from His Holiness Pope Francis from abroad the plane flying him to Rome. His Holiness expressed gratitude for the hospitality extended to him during his stay and he renewed assurance of his prayers for His Majesty and all the kingdom. Okay, ma'am. Assalamu alaikum. Gulf Air uh, 7028. Uh, uh, message from the Pope to His Majesty uh, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of Bahrain. Uh, as I depart from Rome at the conclusion of my apolitic journey, I once again express my gratitude for the hospitality extended to me during my stay in your country. And I renew the assurance of my prayers for your majesty and all in the kingdom. Pope Francis. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed pride in His Holiness Pope Francis' historic official visit to Bahrain, as well as His Eminence, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, and his rewarding meeting with them. His Majesty the King commended the speeches of His Holiness Pope Francis and His Eminence, Dr. Al Tayyib, that reflected their commitment to human fraternity, peaceful coexistence, and tolerance among peoples, as well as the promotion of dialogue and understanding between religions, cultures, and civilizations. His Majesty the King commended the people of Bahrain for their hospitality and welcome to His Holiness, the Pope, and His Eminence, the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, as well as the Kingdom's other guests at the Bahrain Dialogue Forum, who shared exceptional faith and adherence to noble humanitarian principles, based on the respect for all human and religions. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, works to address any global political, economic or social problems from a comprehensive humanitarian perspective. More in this report. From a humanitarian and fraternal perspective that achieves the common interest and goals of humanity in cooperation and dialogue, Bahrain sets out to establish a pattern in international politics based on preserving global interests when providing any solutions to the economic, social, and political problems facing humanity. The Kingdom of Bahrain adopts a political and diplomatic position led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa based on respect for the sovereignty of states, non-interference in their affairs, good neighborliness, in addition to its active role in international organizations. Bahrain also pursues an economic policy that is open to the economies of the world and grants investment opportunities to all, based on its positive relations with its surroundings and the agreements it conducts with countries and partners east and west, in addition to adopting and launching initiatives that enhance multilateral cooperation and coordination. Bahrain always seeks to provide humanitarian aid to all those in need, regardless of their origin and belief, with pure humanitarian motives, which is in line with the approach of His Majesty the King. His Holiness Pope Francis visited the Sacred Heart Church in Manama, which is the oldest church in Bahrain and the Arabian Gulf. During the meeting of His Holiness with the bishops, priests, the con consecrated seminarians and pastoral workers at the church, he expressed his gratitude to all who contributed to the preparations of the visit, thanking them for the days he spent in Bahrain. His Holiness delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the diversity he sees in their nationalities constitutes an extension of the universal church for all, and it also reflects an image of the rich diversity that he touched closely during his visit to Bahrain. His Holiness the Pope's speech addressed a number of religious and humanitarian concepts and values, calling on the attendees to be builders of the unity and human fraternity, which enhances the credibility of dialogue and endeavors with others. Upon his arrival at the church, His Holiness was received by the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Nawaf al Ma'awda, and a number of church officials. The apolistic administrator in the northern of Arabian Peninsula, Archbishop Paul Hinder, delivered a speech in which he welcomed His Holiness to the Pope at the Sacred Heart Church. One of the non-missionaries of a Carmel sister, Rose Celine, spoke about the message she is doing with the nuns.
I would like to say thank you for these days together. With a heart full of gratitude, I bless all of you, especially those who work to prepare for this journey. Since these are my last public words, I thank His Majesty the King and the authorities, especially the Minister of Justice, who is present with us. I thank all of them for their exquisite hospitality. Most Holy Father, welcome to Sacred Heart Church in Manama, Bahrain, where in 1938-39, Sheikh Hamad bin Issa bin Salman al Khalifa, Emir of Bahrain, welcomed the Catholic community and gave us a place for the construction of the first church on the shores of the Arabian Gulf. I know that I have been blessed to grow up here in the Kingdom of Bahrain, a country where religious tolerance and freedom is a way of life. We began our missionary journey in the Kingdom of Bahrain on 3rd January 2003, following our foundation in Kuwait. Bahrain known as the Land of Smiles, welcomed us warmly. On his final day, the last day, of his pontifical uh, visit to Bahrain, His Holiness comes here to speak with the clergy, with the bishops, with the priests, with the consecrated, uh, uh, and also with all the activists who are working in the pastoral services. Uh, his Holiness uh, clarified uh, in his angulus that we have to co co concentrate on love that puts us all together and that the Holy Ghost is the source for such uh, uh, inclination to make ourselves as close in unity and in, in love. And this is how we can provide a witness 
within our societies. We're happy to live in Bahrain and this visit by the Pope, he's come to us to tell us the message of unity and love and today he also said the same message that we have to love each other despite our differences and Bahrain is a good example of a country where people live together in tolerance and unity and we are so glad to be part of it. Papa told you know a lot of things about Bahrain also uh, basically to uh, to spread fraternity that means uh, interaction between um, uh, between the um, Christians and the Muslims and all other religions so this was his message to to bring all the uh, people together that was his main point for uh, visiting Bahrain and uh, we, are, we love that he visited and we thank uh, the, the king and uh, the royal family for inviting him to Bahrain. His Holiness Pope Francis visited Sacred Heart School yesterday and met with 643 students from different schools and universities. He was welcomed by the Minister of Justice and Islamic Affairs and Head of the Honor Mission, Nawaf al Maouda, and by Sacred Heart School Principal Sister Rosalind Thomas. His Holiness delivered a speech in which he expressed a delight at the encounter and dialogue between different cultures and beliefs in Bahrain. He expressed pleasure at meeting the youth who embody diversity and represent coexistence. He said that everybody needs the innovation, dreams, bravery and fun spirit of the youth, which inspires the spirit of rejuvenation in dealing with matters. His Holiness called the students to embrace a culture of care, which implies having compassion for others and understanding their interests, perspectives and feelings, adding that reinforcing this culture will enhance fraternity among members of the society. Commenting on the multilingual speeches delivered by the students, His Holiness Pope Francis called the students to uphold the spirit of brotherhood, which will enable them to build the future of the world. He also stressed the importance of having role models to emulate and consult and to have good friendships that help them in their life journeys. Pope Francis called the attendees to build relations with one another and start building a strong relation with God and to encourage them to accept challenges and embrace life without fear as God is always with them. Sister Rosaline Thomas delivered a speech in which she hailed His Majesty the King and the Pope, describing them as symbols of dialogue, coexistence and world peace. She also pointed out to the history of the school, which extends for 74 years, emphasizing the importance of this visit and its historical significance to the school. Privilege for me, Marina Mo community. I joined the lectures and choir ministry at <laughs> Events, though, cannot be controlled, and they just happen. We can lose sight of our... Buongiorno. Good evening. Thank you for being here from so many different countries and with such great enthusiasm. I would like to thank Sister Rosalind. Look out at you who are not all of the same religion and are not afraid to rise, to break down many social and cultural barriers and to foster the growth of fraternity. Prendersi cura significa sviluppare un atteggiamento interiore di culture of care. Sister Rosalind used that expression, culture of care. Sadness creates much damage in the world. It slipped through your fingers. Please, do not be tourists of life who only see it from the outside. Who only see
E sono contento di aver visto nel regno di Bahrain. I am happy to have seen in the kingdom of Bahrain a place of encounter and dialogue between different cultures and beliefs. As I look out at you, who are not all of the same religion and are not afraid of being together, I think that without you, this coexistence of differences would not be possible. Your efforts, together with those of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to build a world of peace, to build bridges and roads to peaceful coexistence and religious freedom, are like the two sides of the same coin, which makes us realize that great minds think alike. His Holiness Pope Francis in his speeches on the occasion of his historic official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain praised the constitution of the Kingdom of Bahrain that provides a better future for all in an atmosphere that witnesses continuous growth, stability and peace. More in this report. Throughout history, the Kingdom of Bahrain has been known for its relentless endeavors to spread the message of peace and coexistence among the various peoples of the world, which stemmed from several well-established principles guaranteed by the Bahrain Constitution, which made Bahrain an oasis of security and safety. His Holiness Pope Francis recently praised the freedoms and rights in the Kingdom during his speeches on the occasion of his historic official visit to the Kingdom. He said that Bahrain's constitution emphasizes on the importance of promoting human values among all that achieve justice and fairness for all human beings. His Holiness also highlighted the contents of the Declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain written by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to be an expression of Bahrain's vision for a better future for all humanity. The Kingdom of Bahrain is moving forward in deepening interfaith understanding and spreading human values. And today, Bahrain has become a global model for peace and tolerance thanks to the principles established by His Majesty the King of cohesion and human coexistence among all and among different religions in the countries of the world. His Holiness Pope Francis and His Eminence, the Grand Imam of Al Azhar and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, held a meeting during their visit to Bahrain and their participation in the Bahrain Dialogue Forum East and West for Human Coexistence, held on the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Grand Imam expressed his appreciation of the people's efforts to promote peace and coexistence. He stressed that the meetings that bring them together are within their fraternal relations and joint attempts to consolidate the values of peace, coexistence and mutual acceptance. He said, uh, he said he and the Pope have common views on the importance of coordination between them to save humanity from the surge of uh, conflicts and wars by focusing on common grounds and confronting all ideas and practices that feed and spread hatred and intolerance. He added that the human fraternity document has become a model and an approach that represents a basis for building peace, harmony, mutual respect and tolerance among people. His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the Grand Imam and expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Al-Azhar and the Muslim Council of Elders in supporting and encouraging dialogue between religions and promoting world peace. He said that the relationship between the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar and the Council of Muslim Elders represents an important stage for relations between East and West. He stressed the importance of the solidarity of religious leaders for the sake of humanity and the significance of raising the voice of religion for the service of humanity. Pope Francis emphasized the role of dialogue in ending wars and conflicts and limiting the spread of racism and hatred. The Grand Imam of Al Azhar, His Eminence, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, received Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. The Grand Imam praised the role of the judicial authority in consolidating the principles of justice to protect rights and support countries' efforts in achieving sustainable development through the stability of the justice system and the importance of the role played by the Supreme Judicial Council 
Council in enhancing society's confidence in preserving rights, freedoms and public and private property in accordance with the constitution and law. Sheikh Khalid bin Ali expressed his appreciation for the efforts of Al-Azhar and the Muslim Council of Elders under the leadership of the Grand Imam in spreading the true moderate and enlightened Islam and in promoting peace and the values of citizenship that establish stability in societies. He praised the speech of the Grand Imam at the conclusion of the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue and his calls for dialogue and peace and overcoming conflicts. The advisor of His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, held a media briefing in light of the historic visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to Bahrain, in which he stated that the visit was fruitful and successful, and the kingdom was honored by the visit of the Grand Imam of Al Azhar and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, His Eminence Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed added that His Majesty the King, in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, delivered a speech that reflected Bahrain's welcome, pride and appreciation for His Holiness the Pope and his major global role in increasing solidarity between peoples to affirm the importance of joint work in addressing any political, economic and social issues from a humanitarian perspective. His Majesty's advisor for diplomatic affairs noted that His Holiness Pope Francis during his speech affirmed the major role of His Majesty the King in consolidating the principles of human coexistence, highlighting Bahrain's status for His Holiness and its global role in embracing different religions, cultures and civilizations. He hailed the Bahrain Dialogue Forum held under the patronage of His Majesty the King who delivered a speech during the closing session. His Majesty's Advisor for Diplomatic Affairs noted the special Mass held by His Holiness Pope Francis at the Cathedral of Our Lady of Arabia and the Mass attended by tens of thousands of Christians from Bahrain and the region at Bahrain National Stadium. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed stated that the visit of His Holiness the Pope to Bahrain affirms his appreciation for the role of His Majesty the King in spreading the values of coexistence and peace and the leading international initiatives to achieve joint understanding between countries. He added that during his visit, His Holiness the Pope learned about Bahrain's leading model of human fraternity. At the conclusion of the media briefing, His Highness Sheikh Khalid asserted that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, will remain the land of peace and a gathering of religions, races and cultures and a model of coexistence. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's appreciation for the leadership of His Majesty the King and its pride in the historic official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis, Pope of the Vatican, and His Eminence, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib. Sheikh of Al Azhar Al Sharif and Chairman of the Muslim Council of Elders, and their participation in the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue East and West for Human Coexistence. The Minister of Foreign Affairs valued the results and fruitful meeting of this global humanitarian forum with the participation of the two religious symbols, the wise men of the East and West, as well as witnessed to the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain as an oasis of security and peace and a global beacon for dialogue and peaceful coexistence among all religions, sects, cultures and civilizations. In light of the wise humanitarian and diplomatic approach of His Majesty the King and the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and its pioneering achievements in respect of human rights and religious and cultural freedoms. The Foreign Affairs Minister explained that the official visit of His Holiness the Pope represents a new historical impetus for the diplomatic relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Vatican since February 2000 and confirms their common desire to consolidate the spirit of love, harmony and religious tolerance. Noting the, the Pope's appreciation in his speech for cultural, ethnic and religious diversity and peaceful coexistence and the principles of the Declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain. 
He praised the honorable historical stances of the Grand Imam, Sheikh of Al-Azhar Al-Sharif, in spreading the values of tolerance and moderation, and his permanent appreciation for the ancient history of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Azayani stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain will remain an inspiring model for the protection and promotion of human rights and coexistence between religions, sects and races in light of its respect for religious freedoms and the sanctity of places of worship. The Grand Imam of Al Azhar, His Eminence, Sheikh Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, received the Minister of Information, Dr. Ramzan Al Naimi, in the presence of the CEO of the National Communication Center, Yusuf Al Bin Khalil. The meeting focused on the role of media in enhancing coexistence and acceptance, and its role in raising societal awareness. The Grand Imam praised the efforts of the Ministry of Information in covering the East and West Dialogue for Human Coexistence Forum, affirming that media plays an important role in conveying a true message. Dr. Naimi expressed thanks and appreciation to Dr. Sheikh Tayyib's efforts in consolidating the principles of tolerance and coexistence and added that his visit to the kingdom is a historical milestone in the kingdom's march regarding tolerance and dialogue. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to continue enhancing the values of peace and coexistence in line with the vision of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister that made Bahrain a pioneer in the field of a peaceful coexistence. The minister praised the speech of the Grand Imam during the forum and hailed his calling regarding the media exerting further efforts to educate young people about different religions and said that this call came at a time when the world needs the concerted efforts to adopt a culture of dialogue and spread coexistence and human values. A delegation from the Ministry of Information Affairs accompanying His Holiness the Pope on his trip from Bahrain to Rome held a number of meetings with media personnel participating in the media coverage of the visit of His Holiness the Pope to Bahrain, in which they praised the fruitful results of the visit and the welcome and facilitation of media coverage procedures. So this was a historical trip. I mean, this is the first time that a pope has been to Bahrain, so it was wonderful that the king invited Pope Francis to come uh, because it serves two purposes. You can have uh, people in the West, for example, to see life in Bahrain, to see the people through the eyes of Pope Francis. And also, of course, I think for the people here to get to know Pope Francis. It was wonderful, not only for the Muslim community, the Muslim leadership here, but also for the Catholic community, for the foreign workers here to be able to spend time with Pope Francis. Very well organized visits. Um, that was in this particular case for the forum, but the way that the Pope was welcomed uh, was uh, very impressive in a way. We followed the Pope right out of the plane and we ended up in the royal palace where we where he went with his trademark Fiat Cinquecento and we were very impressed with both how well it was organized, uh, how well it was greeted, uh, how well we were greeted as well because obviously we follow him. Um, so I think that he and we are particularly pleased, yeah. Italy's ambassador to Bahrain, Paola Amadi, affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's active role in promoting interreligious dialogue, adding that Italy welcomes all efforts to foster peaceful coexistence and tolerance between various faiths. In the Kingdom of Bahrain, different beliefs live together. Muslims, Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhists and others Bahrain is very active in promoting the interreligious dialogue and it is indeed home to the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. Italy welcomes all efforts to promote peace, dialogue and a better understanding among people of different cultures and religions. And in this context, I would like to recall the words of the President of the Italian Republic, Sergio Mattarella. Peace is a process. It needs courage, determination, political will, 
and the commitment of single individuals. In these efforts, the work of religions and their leaders is essential, starting from the reminder that men and women are the sons and daughters of the same heaven. The Korean ambassador to Bahrain, Hei Kwon Chong, highlighted the importance of dialogue in which he said diplomacy could avert conflicts and bring about peace. He expressed happiness and praised the leadership of Bahrain for fostering peaceful coexistence between various religions and sects. Throughout history, old and contemporary, the world witnessed atrocities being committed by usage of force rather than dialogue. A dialogue could turn the entire circumstances around and cut losses significantly by putting matters into mutual understanding and respect of one another. I have many friends and acquaintances here that belong to many faiths and denominations. It is quite impressive how they are entertained with the freedom of belief and religious activities. The Bahrain Forum for Dialogue, East and West for Human Coexistence, is a testimony of the harmonic environment of Bahrain, where peaceful and coexisting lifestyle adopted and practiced by various social components. I understand that the leadership of Bahrain has been honestly investing in consolidating religious freedom and human values. Such patronage has been instrumental for promoting these values and hosting these meaningful events. And Pakistan's ambassador to Bahrain, Mohammed Ayyub, stressed the Kingdom of Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has made a great strides to build on and maintain mutual respect for all religions and cultures. He commended His Majesty the King's visions and initiatives on religious freedoms. King Hamad has always been supporting the principles of peaceful coexistence, religious freedoms, mutual tolerance, and human dignity. Under the patronage of His Majesty, Bahrain has made great strides to build on these principles. It is no wonder that Bahrain has had a unique experience of peaceful coexistence for thousands of years, embracing all religions, nationalities, and cultures. We greatly commend His Majesty's vision and, and initiatives on religious freedoms and interfaith dialogue. The role of interreligious dialogue in the modern world can hardly be overestimated. This is because close cooperation between religious leaders can eliminate or mitigate conflicts between peoples and nations. The growing issues like religious intolerance, Islamophobia, xenophobia, racism, and hate speech can be tackled only through principles of peaceful coexistence and respect for each other. The dialogue contributes to an atmosphere of peace and stability, as well as to uniting believers of different faiths to fight against global problems together. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fauzi Azinal, received the President of the Interparliamentary Union, Dorte Pachiko. They discussed ways of cooperation between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the IPU in light of the Kingdom's readiness to host the meetings of the General Assembly of the IPU in March 2023. Zainal affirmed that the step of hosting the largest global parliamentary gathering was prepared in light of the advanced institutional structure that the Kingdom of Bahrain is witnessing, which was achieved thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King. She praised the cooperation between the two authorities uh, with the support of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The IBU president expressed his admiration and praise for the clear and tangible impact and great achievements that the Kingdom of Bahrain is experiencing, stressing that uh, this has made the Kingdom of Bahrain a model for society of coexistence and peace and democracy. 
The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in the 31st annual conference of the National Assembly on Arab-American Relations. He reviewed the most prominent developments witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain during the past years, referring to the historic official visit of His Holiness Pope Francis and his participation during his historic visit in the activities of the Bahrain Forum for Dialogue, East and West for Human in coexistence, which was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King. Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid also referred to the strong historical relations that unite Bahrain with the United States and the developments of relations in all fields, particularly the economic field. Following the signing of the Free Trade Agreement, the establishment of the American trade area, and the advancement of bilateral trade between the two countries towards broader prospects, in addition to increasing the investment opportunities available in the region. The General Secretariat of the Representatives Council signed an MOU with the Bahrain Institute for Political Development, which is concerned with training members of the Council and employees of the General Secretariat in the specialized areas of the Legislative Authority. The agreement includes the provision of a number of specialized training programs in addition to promoting the exchange of studies and scientific research which are concerned with constitutional, legal, parliamentary and legal affairs. The MOU included the formation of a joint executive committee from the General Secretariat of the Representatives Council and the BIPD with the aim of discussing the scientific and technical requirements of the Council, its members and the employees of the General Secretariat, and activating aspects of cooperation between the two parties in the fields of research, seminars, programs, workshops, dialogue and proposed studies. Parliamentary health care centers have announced that they have joined the national suggestions and a complaint system to Wassel as of the beginning of this month. The accession of primary health care centers to the Tawasal system will allow citizens and residents to submit their suggestions and comments on the medical, nursing and pharmacy services provided in health care centers, which will raise the level of the health sector's response to the requirements of the next stage in terms of speed of delivery and quality of service.